once a month, and I also do a dunce cap of the month every month, and uh, I got too many to get to. And when that happens, we do the dumdy of the day, and today's dumdy of the day is quite dumb indeed. When it comes to checking privilege, dogs can't get a pass either. Get ready for stupidity, friends. Get ready. One of yesterday's posts on here recalls another article Slate published on canines and racism. It's centered on Percy, a supposedly racist pit bull terrier. So we got machines that can think. Now we got dogs that can be racist. A supposedly racist pit bull terrier rescued from Fort Greene Park in Brooklyn. It turns out that Percy once growled and barked at a couple people of Hispanic, a couple of Hispanic men carrying buckets of fish. What? You know, maybe, maybe the dog was prejudiced against the fish, not the Hispanics. And again, I've got Mexican blood flowing through these veins, so don't give me the race card. However, when you read the article carefully, you learn from the family that adopted Percy that not only was Percy good-natured and sweet, he demonstrated no consistent pattern of an aggression towards Hispanics or blacks. That is, Slate's case of the prejudiced pit bull was bogus by the article's own contradictions. No matter, the stigmatized Percy began a sort of doggy diversity training under a black trainer, where he improved, but apparently ex still exhibited some persistent episodes of non-racism. This people, before I get to the last paragraph, this is how a country dies. This is how stupid we get. This is how you end up so stupid there's no hope for recovery, people. Machines don't think, radiation is not good for you, and dogs do not have racial preferences. Butler Schaffer will probably be interested to know that on the news of parrots, a spokesman for parrots said that he was glad that no parrots were involved or deemed to be racist. No spokesperson for bollards or lorries could be found. Maybe Butler can help us figure out if bollards or lorries can be racist too. I'm kind of on the fence, but probably could be swayed either way. If you're completely confused, Google Monty Python bollard parrots and read some of Butler's old posts for the gag. Friends, that is the correct views. Thank you for listening. Do me a favor. Go, if you can, to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle Court D. Lake and myself. We're posting all the time. You want to donate to the show? I would love you to donate to the show. Every penny you give me goes to a better show. Give me $100. I'm not going to spend 50 on the show and 50 on me. I'm going to put the entire $100 into the show. So the correct views at Hotmail.com if you like the show. That is where you can help me grow the show uh, besides the obvious, hitting share. Hitting remix if you're on YouTube and putting this on your channel. Thank you, friends. Good night, and God bless. I mean that.